everybody and welcome back to my channel. I know this video is a little bit delayed so you might be wondering what the heck is going on. To fill you guys in on the timeline and what is currently happening right now, I have just found out that I am in the top 15 and the challenge theme was released today. So the challenge theme for the top 15 is Enchanted. I had so much fun filming all my unboxings last year that I thought I may as well squash these two together and then really, really knuckle down and create something amazing for the theme Enchanted. In this competition last year, I really pushed myself as an artist and I think that I learned so much along the way. I made amazing friends that I am still in contact with now and it is just such an amazing journey that I thought I've only pretty much got one more shot at this and I'm definitely going to give it a go and here we are in the top 15 currently. For my entry into the Face Awards, I did a mermaid, so this is what it looks like here. It was a really intricate, fun project that I worked on for a solid three weeks and I was very excited to finally release it. This is the top 30 here, if you haven't seen everyone, this is a digital drawing of everybody's entries and I absolutely love it to bits. So my first challenge theme for the top 30 was avant-garde, again I had to push myself and my creative limits and I bleached my eyebrows and I really tried to step it up and do something different and show you that I've got more to give. I didn't want you guys to just see me put some more prosthetics on. I can't thank you guys enough for getting me through to the top 15. You guys obviously liked it and supported me throughout the whole voting process. Here's a quick little video of everybody that has gotten through this far. I've never seen two unboxings done in one video, so I hope you guys enjoy this today. If you do, please give it a very big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please engage on my comments so I know that you guys are here. I am absolutely loving Instagram stories at the moment, so if you don't follow me on my socials, please do. I will list them all down below. So this box here is the top 30 box. First up, we have two of these liquid lip bolts. Now this one here is the liquid suede cream bolt. The suede are definitely my favorite liquid lipstick formula, like I did wear soft spoken my wedding day which is the color I've got on right now. For this unboxing like I didn't do with my last one I really want to do more swatches and show you guys the products more in depth and talk about them a little bit more. So because I have this liquid lipstick bolt here I want to swatch some of my favorite colors or some colors that I thought you guys might like. I hope that my lips will recover after all of the swatching. The soft matte lip cream bolt looks like a beautiful array of nudes and pinks and browns. So I think from pale skin to deep dark skin, hopefully you will be able to find a nude color. This is what I'm actually excited for, mattes versus metals vault. Down the bottom, it has the cosmic metal shades and across the top, it's got some nudes and pinks and reds. Now, I'm not necessarily sure if these are all new colors, but I really wanna see how these metallic shades go. I feel like they would absolutely be beautiful on the eyes as like a liquid eyeshadow. And I wanna say a massive thank you to all of the sponsors for last year and this year. I have here the Garnier Skin Active Pure Active Intense Anti-Blackhead Charcoal Exfoliating Gel. Justin and I always do face masks together and you'll probably kill me for like telling the whole entire internet. Next we have this Redken Fifth Avenue New York. This is a all-in-one multi-benefit treatment. So more skincare range that we have here is a whole bunch of the Garnier Skin Active Masks. Now I'm just gonna double check what type we have. In the sheet masks I have Ultra Hydrating, Ultra Smoothing, and ultra pore refining. So that's quite exciting. These must be a whole bunch of new ones because I haven't seen these on the market. The next pack that we have here is a go-to goodies and it's a very vampy sort of inspired look. This pack reminds me of like a really cool toned winter vibe. It's got some berries in there, but they're really like gray based. Next, at the bottom of the box, I remember I used to use a BB cream a long time ago. I don't know if it was Garnier, but it almost smelt like a Coca-Cola lolly and I don't know if anybody else will know what I'm talking about. I don't necessarily love a natural look anymore. I'll either wear heaps or no makeup. It had like this honest smell of like those Coca-Cola sour- <gasps> Shit, my bad. Oh damn, what magic was that? So this here is a universal shade and it's like a nude BB cream and the product itself came out completely clear. Then when I rub the product into the skin, it's like one of those magic ones that like adjusts to your skin tone. That's really freaking cool. I didn't even read that on the box. Now I'm glad that I opened it. Oh, here we go. This is it, this is the goods. So what I have here is a whole entire bag of just NYX loose goodies. Starting out, we have the Avon Pop Palette. Now they do have a few different types of these, but I definitely own this one already. So that's gonna be going in my giveaway pile. This year, I'm going to really try to do a few more giveaways than I did last year. And I would also like to kind of donate them this year as well. These are the NYX Bright Idea Illuminating Sticks. So I think that they're quite great because it's like a range of different highlighters, bronzers, and blushes for all different skin tones. For liquid lips, down the bottom here, as if I don't own enough liquid lipsticks already, just from this video alone, um, I think they've given us about 10 of 
What the heck are these? Liquid Swipe Metallic Matte. So these must be the new ones because the Cosmic Metals are already a range. Oh, I'm definitely going to have to swatch some of these. The colour range on these is quite nice. They're really like a deep pearlescent colour. You've got purples, bronzes, browns, and like a nude rose gold as well. Damn. Right, the last product that I have here is the NYX Angel Veil Primer. Um, this one here is probably the most raved about primer that NYX has at the moment. Angel Veil seems to be like everybody's go-to. It's drugstore, it's really reasonably priced, and for the quality, it's super duper good. Oh, love it. You can never be too old to play with bubble wrap. I have this hairspray here. This is from Redken again. So thank you Redken for sponsoring the NYX Space Awards. Oh ah, my gosh, Priceline. Oh Priceline, you didn't. How much is this? $100. I thought we started out with $50 last year. This is my top 30 box. That's amazing, a $100 gift card. Thank you so much Priceline and thank you so much NYX. I think that that's everything from the first box. Awesome, so that's everything from my top 30 box. This is the train case that we got last year and I have to say I have used it a lot. I think that was really cute for the background. I'm gonna grab my trusty pair of scissors and now we're gonna move on to the top 15 unboxing. Oh, shit, maybe I should've got my knife out. These scissors are nowhere near as good as my Japanese steel shorn. Oh, hey, I didn't get a paper in this one. Because there's a paper up here that says congratulations, you're in the top 15. And it has pictures of everybody and it's just so exciting. Ah, oh, I'm on there. I'm on there twice. So it has this piece of paper here that says congratulations, you're in the top 15. And it kind of goes on around the back here and says all of our sponsors. It gives us a little bit of things that we should be outlined to do, like creating high resolution photos and also just like short pictures and videos of our look. So that's really, really cool. I didn't get one for my top 30 box. I literally just realized when I seen that one here. I think I am probably one of the first people to be filming my top 15 unboxing. Yeah, this is the actual surprise and there is lots and lots of bags. So this is gonna be quite fun. Let's jump straight in. There is a large loose bag of items here. This one has a whole bunch of palettes that I haven't necessarily seen before. I do have an Avon Pop, which I literally just got. That's gonna be going in my giveaway pile as well. This one here is the Dream Catcher palette and it looks like a really nice baked eyeshadow palette. Here we have the NYX Mineral Set It Don't Fret It Powder and this is a matte finishing powder in what looks like a banana based shade. This is in the shade Medium Dark. It's really good to stock up my kit because I am a freelance makeup artist. I don't do it quite often but I do have a few weddings coming up. So that's definitely going to be able to work on some of my clients and customers which is quite exciting. Here we have these two little mini palettes and I love a good travel size palette. These are the Love in Paris one. This one here is full of more rose gold and purple tones and that one there is like a nice bronze matte and shimmer look. I have one single shadow that's just kind of floating around by itself in the color Jaded, which is a beautiful teal green. I absolutely love the single shadows. I use them to highlight my mermaid scales and whew, the pigment. Next, I've got the NYX No Filter Finishing Powder. This would be a really nice shade, again, for baking and setting under the eyes of anyone that has like a medium to deep skin tone. So that'll be quite lovely for some more of my clients. And also I'll possibly put some of those in my giveaway as well. Next, I have a little bag. These are the NYX Simply Nude and NYX Simply Pink sticks. So it's like a lip cream, which is a literal normal lipstick in a cream form, but they come in a variety of pink and nude shades. Some of them even kind of look a little bit shimmery. Unless my eyesight's not doing too well. <laughs> I actually have glasses that I never, ever, ever wear. I literally only wear my glasses when I'm at the movies or when I'm like out doing outdoor stuff. Even with things like this, I'm like, girl, I can't tell if that's matte or shimmer, so. I should probably get my glasses on. So there is like bags and bags and bags of stuff. So I'm gonna have to definitely go through my makeup organization again. I have a teal glam aqua liner, a jumbo pencil. They've given me a NYX sharpener, which is fantastic because it's gonna fit the jumbo pencils. We have these metallic eyeliners that you can put in your tight line, waterline, and also on your lid and kind of smudge them out. I think they'd be quite nice if they're in certain colors for your inner corner highlight, a lid color, like that's pretty universal to me and I definitely think they'll get a good use. There's some really nice champagne colors. So we have two of the micellar waters, one large and one travel size, which is awesome. I really like the oil based one. I think that's probably my favorite at the moment, um, but the original is still just as good. I've got a bag that's full of, it just says whipped, whipped food. Whipped fruité. 
don't know what that means. This is kind of a mixed bag. I've got some cosmic metals, some lip lusters, and then I haven't ever, ever, ever seen what this product is before. I can't pronounce that word. NYX Whipped Fruité Magenta. Freaking love the word magenta. It just makes me think of blue screws. So yeah. She was my fave. And then we have some of these mineral foundation sticks as well. And I really like these. I used them in my last avant-garde book. Got a whole bunch more of the illuminating sticks. So they come in all of the different bronzy and blush tones again, which I just got a whole bunch in my top 30 box. Um, so I'm going to have to start giving these away. And I'm going to start organizing them into piles. So this is probably my mom's favorite liquid lipstick. She's obsessed with metallics and she wears them all the time, like literally everywhere we go. This is called the Speed of Light. The rest of this bag has some NYX liquid lingeries in some shades that I haven't seen before. Another shade of the Mineral Skin Foundation in the shade Caramel. This is bringing back so many memories. The Butter Liquid Lipstick. Oh, I just call everything a liquid lipstick now. This is just a regular matte lipstick. They have a butter lipstick. And then in the bottom here, they also have the soft matte lip creams in the larger size. So that's pretty cool. That is a whole entire bunch. Now I'm definitely gonna give pretty much this whole bag away just because I still have a whole bunch from last year and I don't want to have like triple of everything. I think maybe like in my favorite shades, one and then a backup would be fine. Here we have a Garnier Hydro Bomb mask. These are so cold up on your face as well because it's made out of like this foil. I feel like just putting a face mask on right now. I've never seen these products in my life. I've never even seen them on Instagram. Like I absolutely have no idea what the hell they are. These say that they are the NYX. Oh, now I feel like a jerk. So these are the NYX Color Correcting Liquid Primer. So I'm assuming that they are quite new. Because I would like to think that I'm like up to date and hip with all these sorts of things. Oh shit, shit. Oh wow. That blended really nicely into the skin, but it has a very, very yellow pigment to it. We are slowly getting to the bottom of my second box. Now I have a small pack in here, and this is from Redken and Garnier. I feel like one hair product that could be really good for me would just be a heat protectant spray, so hopefully there'll be something in here similar to that. Garnier Skin Active Juicy Peel Mask, and they come in a whole range of colors. So we have Honey, Matcha, Volcano, Aqua, and a Juicy Citrus Mask. I have never tried a peel mask either. Justin and I, it's been something that we've always wanted to do, like a blackhead peel mask, or just like one of those really satisfying peel porn sorts of things. Um, so I'm really excited to be able to use that. That'll be really fantastic. In this bag, we have three little Redken products. This one is a iron shape heat restyling technology thermal holding spray. So I'm assuming that's probably some sort of a heat protectant. In here we have a Bossy Cream, which is an air styler, which would kind of be good for me because I have loose natural waves. And right here is a Blow Dry Express Primer Treatment. So again, I feel like that would be some sort of a replenishing heat protectant product. From Garnier, I still have some more in the bottom of the box here as well. So they have given us two of the natural BB creams. Now this is in light and medium, so they're not that crazy um, skin tone changing technology ones. We're starting to get low, so next I have the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Wipes, and I can't say that I've ever tried these. Getting to the bottom of the box here, I have a whole bunch of these foundations from NYX. So these are the HD Studio Foundations. This is in the shade Soft Beige. I also have one in Sand Beige, and then three of their BB creams, oops, sorry, one of their BB creams in the shade Natural 2 BB Cream from NYX. And this product I have never seen before. This is the Sculpt and Highlight Face Duo, and it looks very similar to the Stick Roll-On version, but it's more of like a concealer style. One of the last things in the box today is a lash primer. I actually used up my other one last time because it was a lash primer on one end and a mascara on the other. I have these two blushes down the bottom of the box. One is an ombre blush, and the other is an illuminator. I don't think I have these shades, which is quite nice. They're like soft, peachy, and mauves, which is really nice and new. So we have another Priceline card. This one is for $150. Um, so that is super duper exciting as well. This goes out of date three years from now 18, 19, 20, 21. Oh, I don't even want to think about 2020, not about 2021. Um, and then last but not least, at the very, very bottom of this box here, we have the NYX Butt Naked Turn the Other Cheek palette. On the inside of this palette, I have seen it in Priceline, it like folds out. It has all of the eyeshadows along the top, blushes, and then illuminators and highlighters. This sort of stuff reminds me of when I was a lot younger and I got all of this like fold out makeup. It would just be one palette and it would literally have your eyeshadows, it would have lip glosses and even lipsticks inside pans, and then 
your bronzers and your contours. So you would like open up the whole thing and have your whole entire makeup kit just in one palette. So that's kind of what this thing is here. I'm going to open it up just to demonstrate to you. Um, I used to actually love this sort of stuff. It used to make me feel like such a little lady when I was like 12 years old. I didn't ever really wear makeup, but I always had like this little fold out situation, which I was really fond of. This is the palette here, as you guys can see. It's hard to open. Gentle Bonnie. Oh, God damn it. I know they're under there. Oh, I'm so stupid. It is a fold out system. So this one here slides up. I was trying to like rip it apart. That's pretty cool actually. So you open the palette up, but yeah, that is it. That is my second box empty. That was really, really fun. I liked that the boxes were so different. The first box for the top 30 was just really put together. It was a whole bunch of packs and suede and minis and like travels. And then this box here was just a literal cluster of just all different types of lipsticks and lip tints and like primers and things that I've never seen before. But I was really impressed today with what I would have to say is the colored primer shocked me. The BB cream that like changes to your skin tone shocked me as well. And then just like the really nice metallic suede. So thank you for making it to the end of the video. I feel like I was probably a little bit scatterbrained. I do get really excited and just rip everything apart and kind of forget to film and look at the camera. Literally what I did last year. I hope you guys did enjoy this video though. I tried to put some swatches in here so you could see some more of the products up close and some of the things that I really liked. When you look at it all together, it is just so much stuff for one person. And again, Nyx, I can't thank you enough for having this amazing opportunity and I'm just gonna work so damn hard. I'm really excited with the thing that you've given us for the top 15 of Enchanted. I am brainstorming as we speak and I've just got so many ideas. I don't know exactly where I'm going to take it yet, but I'm hoping I'll be able to refine it and create something absolutely crazy and cool. If you're watching this in the future and the voting is live, I will leave all of the voting information in the description box below. It's super important if you want to see me progress in the competition and get into the top six. This, I feel, is one of the most important ones because you get through to this and you're in the final. So please guys, if you have my back, if you like my work and you're supporting me, it only takes a few seconds to vote of the like three or four day period that they have open. So I do really appreciate it. And thank you again to all of my team Bonnie. This year for me as an artist, I feel like I'm refining my work a little bit more. I was growing so fast and so quick last year in my skills and my techniques and all of the things that I was pushing my boundaries with that this year, I really just want to refine it and really fill out the brief. So our brief was avant-garde and I tried to really push the box and step out of my comfort zone in the sense where it's like, don't use prosthetics. So I didn't use any sort of special effects makeup. It was just all natural glam and I tried to turn it into something bright, colorful and you know, avant-garde and high fashion. So I need to pack all of this away and kind of organize it into little giveaway piles. If you're interested in finding out more about my giveaways, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram account, just Bonnie Corbin SFX. That's where I'll be posting and hosting all of my giveaways if you want to see who's going to be able to start winning some of this stuff. I love you so much and I will hopefully see you in my next one. Bye guys.